So sitting in one of my Zoom lectures about strategic trends, a brilliant thought occurred to me about books. Why not scroll through Amazon with no research whatsoever, having never read a pure romance book in my life, and pick a few best-selling romance books on the first page of their category based on nothing but the blurb alone. Literally nothing could go wrong. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Emily and we are going to do exactly what I said. <laughs> I am an avid reader of fantasy and science fiction. I love me some romance mixed into that science fiction and fantasy, but I have never, to my recollection, read just a pure romance book. I mean, I read Me Before You, but that was a tragedy. That's not a romance. Let's get that out of the way. And also, before you think I'm a bad student, the reason I came up with this idea is my strategic trends class was talking about the business model of Harlequin romance publishers, so. I do have a thought process. It just takes off in random directions. This is the first part of this video. The second part of this video will come later. I'm going to vlog my reading experience for this, but today we are just going to jump on Amazon, read some blurbs, and make some bad life decisions. 12 seconds later. The Lost Letter of Victorian Romance. I like Victorian Romance. <laughs> A gripping, emotional Victorian Romance. Historical Romance fans should snap this one up. Book blurbs are the weirdest thing. Oh, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Look, it can't get worse than A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm sorry. We're throwing shade at that book already, and I'm like three minutes into the video. Okay. Society beauteous Sylvia Stafford finds her work as a governess in a merchant's household in Cheapside? That, that's a name, Cheapside? Is that real? <laughs> she resigns herself to lonely spinsterhood <laughs> until a mysterious visitor convinces her to temporarily return to her former life and former love. Colonel Sebastian Conrad is no longer the dashing cavalry officer Sylvia once fell in love with. This sounds like my type of book. We're getting this. I like Beauty and the Beast retelling. I like Beauty and the Beast retelling that aren't creepy. Is that too much to ask for? We don't know. I'm looking for something not too sexy. I don't like reading heavy graphic sex. I like mild romance. A little bit of sex scene is fine. I've never actually read any completely hardcore romance before, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Make of that joke what you will. <laughs> this whole video is a terrible idea. It's gonna either be my best video or my worst video. If you were mine. Wow, that's... Why do these all sound like Wattpad romances? Twice Shy, The Power of Love, Temptation, The Hunted Series, book one. <laughs> I'm not going to get this, but we have to, we have to look at that anyway. Look at that expression. That is... Oh, no! Zoom in! Oh, there we go. Deep. It's intense. It's very Christian Grey. <laughs> no, before anybody asks, I haven't read Fifty Shades of Grey. Also, before anyone asks, no, I'm not going to read it. Y'all can't make me. Shy student Penny Taylor always follows the rules. At least that's how it's appeared to her classmates. Ooh. <laughs> but she has one illicit secret. She's fallen hard for her professor. <laughs> He's tall, dark, and handsome, and completely unobtainable. I need to move on. James Hunter gave up his billionaire lifestyle in New York City last year to become a professor. Why? <laughs> the easiest new rule to follow, don't fraternize with the students. It's easy to follow because he's become quite the recluse in his new town. The only way he knows how to keep his secrets buried. Oh, he has secrets. He needs to walk away. Penny deserves better than a man with his demons. Yes, I need to walk away from that description. <laughs> Let's do, I want like a sweet romance. I don't know what that Victorian romance was. But we're gonna go with that one, one sweet romance, and then one where I just give it my best shot and see what happens, so. Spellbound in Salem. Oh, that looks... Is that who wrote me before you? One day in December. This looks promisingly cute and fuzzy. If it has a tragic ending, I demand a refund. I'm kidding. 
Don't return books because you don't like the endings. Lori is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere but in movies. If that's not a romantic pitch for a romantic book slash rom-com, I don't know what is. But then, through a misted up bus window one snowy December day, she sees a man who she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic, and then her bus drives away. Reunited at a Christmas party. Lori, Sarah, and Jack. Oh, it's her friend's boyfriend. Ten years of friendship, heartbreak, missed opportunities, roads not taken, and destinies reconsidered. Joyous, heartwarming. That sounds like something I should read during Christmas, but I want to read it anyway. That's a lot of muscles right there. Okay. On the edge. I love how all of these are no damaged goods. All of these are either shirtless guys or guys in suits. Or guys with suits being ripped off. I don't just want erotica novels. That's just me. After years of unbridled debauchery, Tristan Sinclair... Seriously, is that his name? Tristan Sinclair Vincent St. Ashton? What? Is that a town name? Am I stupid? What's happening? Never mind. I want everybody to know that I am not hating on romance books or romance readers here. I'm just having some fun, okay? So before y'all run at me to the comment section, I think romance is great. Romance readers are great. I'm having some fun. If you're really offended by this, get a sense of humor. <laughs> what have we got? I'm on like the third page. Ooh, what the wind knows. I have that. That's, that is on my TBR. <laughs> I should probably just read that. Oh lord, after. I'm not reading that either, so nobody suggests that. Where the forest meets the stars. I keep seeing this. I was under the assumption it's fantasy. Is it fantasy? Don't know. Let's take a look. After the loss of her mother and own battle with breast cancer, Joanna Teal returns to her graduate research on nesting birds in southern Illinois. Hmm. Mysterious child. The girls come to witness five miracles. This is romance? Doesn't look like romance. Oh, reclusive neighbor. That checks out. I want to read this one. Let's read this one. Oh, I have to return a title? Okay. Okay. What am I gonna return? What am I gonna return? I read you, so we're going to return you. You see that? That is three new romance books. I don't know why that fantasy book is at the top of the list, though, but that is three new romance books. Time to turn off the screen recording so my phone stops yelling at me. So those are the three romance books I'm going to read. The Lost Letter by Mimi Matthews, Where the Forest Meets the Stars by Glindy Vandera. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, and One Day in December by Josie Silver. That looks like a Victorian romance, a cutesy romance, and one that probably has fantasy in it. But that's okay. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Part two will be coming once I read through these and vlog the experience. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that subscribe button and ding the little notification bell. I upload videos on Mondays or Fridays, sometimes both days, and I will see all of you next week. Bye!